Is this, is this, am I to like figure out here that this is your first time in Park City? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, okay. No. But if it makes good copy, absolutely. <laughs> no, it doesn't. This is my first time at Slam Dance. Okay. Um, but I'll tell you, what's interesting about it is that um, uh, the amount of, the, I guess, I don't know, I guess one is, is really how it used to be about films. I'm sure this movie I saw today was at least a $25 million movie. This is Adam you're talking Adam, about. Yes, a beautiful film, but just you know, a whole different ball of wax from um, from the kind of movies that are in, in, in Slam Dance, which I think are required to be under a million dollars. So, yeah, because I, I spoke to Drake and Lindsay, and it seems like the budget was slightly, slightly lower. Just under, I believe, just under a mil. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you talked to our producer Jonathan Swartz, it was about four million. <laughs> so. so, so you you are a man of great credits behind. You've done wonderful stuff. How do you get roped into something like that? It's love, love of what the, the, the script was and, and uh, a personal phone call from Matthew Lillard. Mm -hmm. And since I played his father before in another movie, <laughs> I thought it was so much fun to work with this talented guy. So I thought, absolutely. And, with the, the, and the irony of it was I wasn't even available. I was doing another movie at the time, but I had this little window and they worked it out making movies. So do you look at those bigger budgeted films as like, take the money and just come back and do these little films that you want to do, or it's just quality script is always the, the way. Well, we always go for the script, but at the mm -hmm. same time, when you need, need a payday, and we all do because we want to you know, raise our families and, and provide for our families, you need to you know, say yes, and we know that these films are going to get made anyway, mm -hmm. so you'd rather say absolutely so I can make a little chunk and then put that away and then you know, go do what your heart desires. And this particular movie, Spooner, has been uh, blessed with the stamp of approval by the Los Angeles Times, and this mm -hmm. Kenneth Turan is, is really, he couldn't have said a nicer thing, calling it the sleeper of the, of the uh, you know, of the whole sleeper hit, not sleeper. sleeper yeah, that's <laughs> that's a very good <laughs> distinction. Your sleeper hit, exactly. So right. we're hoping from his lips to God's ears. All right, and he's one of the last remaining credible critics in my mind. So that is great. News. He carries a lot of weight. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. That's good. Dad, mom, I see you guys. Hey, that blood on your face? You're punched. What, did you hit him back? No. So what are you doing here, son? I don't know. I totally screwed things up with Rose. That's, uh, that's too bad. I liked her. She was pretty perfect. Can I come in? Uh, no, dad, 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 <sighs> She's not in here, Spooner. She's out there, somewhere. They're all out there. All kinds of them. I like the rose kind. Good. And you should get off this porch and go work on that. Okay? I love you, son. Back to this phone call from Lillard. What does he say to you? Want to be my dad again, or read the script, or I've got $40 for you? Um, less than 40. <laughs> um, not even gas money. And uh, luckily I had a nice car because I could, you know, sit in that between takes. But uh, no, it was, it was an interesting uh, call. He just said, it's a great movie. I'm, I'm doing something I always wanted to do. And I take my hat off to him. I think mm -hmm. uh, I have to, I'll, I, I want to do it now. I'm so excited about how well it turned out. He found a beautiful script. He worked on it. Great director, young, everybody's new, everybody's passionate, everybody's got there for the right reason. No one's getting paid. But it's such a great story and a great opportunity for him to actually be in every frame of the movie. It's his story. And uh, I wanted to support, support him in that. You're pleasantly surprised how it turned out. So you read the script, you think it's a wonderful little script. But it sounds like there are times when the script does not turn out the way you anticipate. Is that...? Well, yeah, when, of course, because they don't have the right kind of um, um, 
people with the right sensibilities, perhaps, and the producers and, and that thing, they got, oh, that's fine, we'll do that, we'll fix that. And they, mm-hmm. they didn't settle, they got good stuff, they, they created, I mean, my first day there was like, great, so glad you're on board, poof, <laughs> with the makeup, <laughs> and here we go. Right. And so we, we, you know, we ad-libbed, it was fun, it was, you know, people were doing, that were working in, in, the, in the crew, all 12 of them were there for, <laughs> for, uh, for the right reason. So, you, you know, you, and the big film's kind of like, why is my overtime coming? Because I really, what's for lunch? It's like they're not there for the right reasons all the time. They get a little spoiled. So that's what you love about a, a film that's really all about putting it right up on the screen. <laughs>